Hello everybody, it's Mike here again from Scratch with a brand new tutorial series. Now this guy is completely done in text form and is coming very, very soon in video form. I got a question for you guys about how you want me to handle that, so stay tuned at the end for that. But the entire idea behind the series is basically to illustrate creating a complete Godot game using Godot 3.1 and GDScript from very beginning to the very end. It's a simple 2D game on purpose because I'm actually tending to... Uh, kind of create this in other game engines as well. So without further ado, let's take a quick look at the uh, game itself that we're going to be creating, and then we'll look at kind of the tutorial behind it. So here is the game. It's called Air Combat. Very, very, very simple. Broken down to a number of scenes. So here you've got your main menu scene. Uh, we've got it broken down. So here is your enemies with collision detection. Here is the explosion scene, bullets with animations. Uh, and then we should have the player down here somewhere. And then we have the main game level itself. And then to run it, so we'll go ahead, we'll run this guy. Uh, you got your main menu comes up with some audio warning. Audio. Uh, come in here, you can quit your game, you're free to do one. And then it just kind of starts. A little bit of a simple animation. You use up, down arrows to move your guy. And you're just trying to get to the end point of each level. It's fairly short. Each level kind of repeats. But you see in the background, we've got parallax clouds moving at a different speed. You've got the foreground layer. You've got Z ordering. So that's how you've got planes flying behind the mountains. And then you kind of get through the end. You're adding to your kill count as you go. Space bar to shoot. And then once you hit the end level, it goes on to the next stage. Each stage, it adds more enemies and speeds up slightly. You can easily tweak those things however you wish, but that is essentially the game. We show a lot of things behind the scenes, like I said, levels, level design, collision handling, um, parallax scrolling, game states, so on. So you've got pretty much everything you would need to create a more complex game all in one spot. So let's get a little bit into the tutorial. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I do have a full tutorial series out there. Um, we've been running through this on this channel for a while now. It's a video series and it goes into more depth about everything you need to know to create a 2D game using Godot. So if you have questions while watching this tutorial, your answers will be here. I go into a lot more depth than I do here because each one of these is about a half an hour to an hour in length and this is not the purpose of this tutorial. Instead, in this one, in this new Getting Started with Godot step-by-step -step tutorial series, this is literally walking you through the process of each step. So for example, when we were creating the parallax clouds, we show the process of creating, we create the layers, we show you the nodes you need to do, the setup and the configuration you need to have, um, and it's screenshot based step by step and shows you what you need to know. At the bottom here, you've got your navigation that will get you through each individual part of the tutorial as you're going through it. And again, this entire idea is to kind of hold you by your hand and take you from the beginning to the very end while creating a full game. Uh, the most important things you will find are here in the getting started guide because uh, then we've got all the links here. Now the cool things about this guy is I teamed up with an artist, um, a guy over named Robert over at Game Developer Studio. He provided all of the art that we use in this particular example. Um, and in fact, if you go in here and grab his original packs, the sky backgrounds, the plane backgrounds, and so on, all of the assets used to create this game are available there in much higher format, like higher resolution. So if you want to create a retina version of this game. There's also some additional textures that I didn't use. There's additional UI components that I didn't use. There's more planes and bullets that I didn't use. So if you want to expand upon this game, do definitely check out Game Developer Studio. I will toss that link down below. And thanks, Robert, for collaborating on this. Uh, also, all of the source code is available. It is up on GitHub. Uh, basically, again, if you go back to the getting started, the links for all of this is in that initial getting started, but the GitHub code is linked here. The GitHub stuff is all under the MIT license. Uh, it has all of the game ready versions of all of the assets. So everything you need to create this game is here. So um, if you go into your assets folder, all of your uh, graphics, sound, fonts, audios are all in there. If the open source um, audio or font file came from somewhere, look for a text file for where I got it from. But everything, every single thing you need to create this game is here in this repository under the MIT open source license. Now, I don't actually recommend, unless you already have some experience with Godot, I would personally recommend doing the tutorial and walking through this step by step. You'll learn so much more that way than just downloading the completed version. But if you run into a problem or you need to compare versions, you can literally just check it out, um, you know, do a git clone and compare to see how your version is versus the final version to see if you can spot your error. But you do learn better by doing it step by step. You really do. Uh, you'll notice here also in the root file, and once again, this is linked here somewhere. Um, 
is all of the assets used in this example. So if you are following step by step, just download assets.zip, extract that out to a folder, copy that folder into your newly created Godot game, and you have everything you need to follow along to this particular tutorial. And then final step is I also have a, a patron compile PDF version of this. It is the exact same thing that you will find on dev game. Uh, just in PDF format. Bit of a thank you to my patrons. I don't do a lot of patron-specific content, and I, I love you guys, so I, I wanted to put something in there. So this is just kind of an ebook version of this particular tutorial. So once again, thank you for being a patron. If you're not a patron, please do consider it. Again, I will toss that link down below as well. And that's essentially it. That is the new tutorial series. Now, of course, I am going to be doing this in video format as well, and that is where my first question comes in. Uh, I could do this as a one to one, but that would be terrible. So if I did one tutorial on each one of these steps, a lot of these steps, when I go back to the table of contents, when I come back in here and go to uh, the table of contents, let me just scroll down and find my table of contents link. So I come here, a lot of these steps are very, 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 very short. They would not make a great video. And truth of the matter is, I already explained the who's it and how's of all of these things in that other tutorial series. I don't mean to go into that much depth. I mean to literally show you, here's me creating a game and walking through it. So I don't want to do a video on each one of these subjects. Now, what I was thinking about doing is just recording it as one long video. And then if it got over, say, a half an hour, I'd split it into two parts. If it got to be an hour and a half, which, God, I hope it doesn't, then I would split that into three parts. And then what I was thinking I would do in the comments down below is do a timestamp for each one of these. So when I cover, I'm going to cover it in this order. I'm going to cover it in the video form in the exact same order. I'm going to do it in the text form so that you can map between the two, especially if you need to copy and paste source code or whatever. Um, then I will do a timestamp for when I cover you know, so when I get to creating your title page, if that's at the seven minute mark, I'll do in the comments, seven minutes, here's this. And if I split it into two parts, and then the second part is say, these creating your enemies through building your game, I would in the comments for that one, do the timestamps there. I think this is the best kind of compromise version. I could do a video for each one of these things, but first off, that would absolutely flood the channel. And second, again, some of these are gonna be like two minutes in length. So I don't wanna do a video. I don't wanna do it like that. That just gets kind of messy. So I'm thinking about doing it kind of in one one to two parts and having timestamps. But let me know how you would like me to cover it. Again, this is not a here is why parallax layers work. This is here is how you implement parallax layers. And I hope the difference is clear. So this should be a much shorter video than some of my tutorials in the past. Now, my next question is I created this template or this game. The entire idea behind this is that I intended to use this as a template for future 2D game engine uh, demonstrations. So I could basically implement this same air combat game um, in GDevelop or um, Default or uh, Unreal or Unity or whatever, you know, to, to um, demonstrate how you implement a game in 2D for various different game engines. I was thinking about making this whole process my archetype. Then eventually, when you come to the tutorial sections over here on Dev Game, I will probably end up actually having a 2D section in which I spin off and put all of the 2D specific stuff implementing this particular game in that style. First off, let me know if that interests you. And second, let me know which game engine you would like to see get the air combat treatment next, if so. And that is it for now. Hopefully you guys find this useful. Once again, everything you need to know about creating a game from beginning to end, every single step is thoroughly documented here. And then when we get to the very, very, very end in the final code, I also just did this one. Code samples are all throughout, but this is kind of a summary of all the various different uh, pieces of code I created as I went through this. So, uh, and again, if you find any uh, bugs or glitches like I actually just did, I noticed I'm missing uh, the game scene code. So I'll make sure I add that back in. Um, but all of the code that we created here is available and easily copied and pasted. In fact, if you come up here, you can actually, there's a little icon for copying or viewing raw code or bring it into a new window. So um, yeah, that is the new uh, Godot step-by-step -step tutorial series. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you want me to make the video version of this. And let me know which game engine you would like to see get this treatment next. All right, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.